2021, CO2 emissions reached more than 40 gigatons CO2, a staggering weight. And that's just CO2. If we count all greenhouse gases, 2021 global emissions reached more than 55 gigatons of CO2 warming equivalent, which is abbreviated GTCO2E. So 40 gigatons of carbon dioxide a year, but more than 55 gigatons of carbon dioxide equivalent. What exactly does carbon dioxide equivalent mean? Carbon dioxide represents a significant majority of greenhouse gas emissions, 75% by weight. But other greenhouse gases like methane, nitrous oxide and fluorinated gases have way more warming potential than CO2. That is, they are like a heavier blanket trapping more heat in the atmosphere. Two factors impact the global warming potential of a gas its ability to trap heat and the length of time it stays in the atmosphere. While CO2 might stay in the atmosphere for hundreds or thousands of years, methane will last only 10 years or so. So how do we compare CO2 and methane emissions if they persist for different periods of time in the atmosphere? We have to look at them over different time scales. So, the global warming potential of a gas is described in a time period such as the 100-year global warming potential or the 20-year global warming potential. For example, as I mentioned, methane is a much thicker blanket trapping much more heat than CO2, but it only stays in the atmosphere for 10 to 12 years. So if you measure the warming potential of methane over a short period of time, say 20 years, it is 85 times more heat trapping than CO2. But if you measure the warming potential of methane after 100 years, it is only about 25 times worse than CO2. Put another way, one kilogram of methane released into the atmosphere has the equivalent warming potential of releasing 85 kilograms of CO2 if measured in 20 years, but only 25 kilograms of CO2 if measured in 100 years. The 20-year global warming potential of methane is 85 kilograms CO2 equivalent. The 100-year global warming potential is 25 kilograms CO2 equivalent. Nitrous oxide stays in the atmosphere for more than 100 years, like CO2. So, whether measured at 20 years or 100 years, one kilogram of nitrous oxide emissions has the equivalent warming potential of nearly 300 kilograms of CO2 emissions. Fluorinated gases are even worse. Luckily, there are much less of them. Carbon dioxide equivalents are typically reported using a 100-year global warming potential. Therefore, the 55 gigatons of CO2 equivalent of emissions released in 2021 that I reported at the beginning of this episode was assuming a 100-year global warming potential. In summary, carbon dioxide equivalent is a simplified way to talk about the collective impact of human-caused greenhouse gas emissions. It is a measure of how much CO2 would have to be released to have an equivalent warming impact to the amounts of other greenhouse gases. If you're curious where these different gases come from, watch our video episode 1.2, How Dirty Are We? Check out all our videos and podcast episodes at climatenow.com for in-depth analysis of the science, technology, economics, and policy behind climate change and the energy transition. Thanks and see you next time.